Honestly, Julie, I don't feel we ought to. Oh, come on, silly. It's exciting. It's quite all right, Miss Bard. Why, hello, Mr. Vern. Hey, hello, Mrs. Fowler. Uh, come on in, huh? Well, hello, Mr. Vern. Twice in one day, I must be popular with you. Just the usual routine, Johnny. Uh, Miss Sanford, Miss Bard, uh, Mr. Eager. How do you do? And this is Mrs. Fowler and uh, Miss Fowler. Hello. How do you do? Well, isn't that nice? Won't you sit down, please? We were just going to have some coffee. I'll go and bring it, huh? Yeah, coffee. Yeah. Uh, find yourself some chairs, uh, yeah. Mr. Vern. As I told you, my favorite parolee. <laughs> uh, these two young ladies are taking a course in sociology, Johnny. They were sent to be to help them with their field work. Sociology, oh, let's see now. Oh, it's a study of social conditions. Seeing how the other half live. I mean, uh, things like crime. Uh, well, you understand what I mean, Mr. Eager. <laughs> I get it. How's your schoolwork coming on, Matilda? Oh, fine. I love it. That's good. Uncle Johnny's helping me with my homework. You see, Mr. Eager's really not Matilda's uncle. She just calls him that. Her father was married to Mrs. Fowler, who's Johnny's cousin. Isn't that right, Johnny? Uh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, Matt was a great guy. We were in business together. You mean he's not living now? He was killed in an automobile. Oh. It's terrible, these automobile accidents. This was on purpose by some rats with a sawed-off shotgun. <coughs> Matilda. Here, here, here now, kid. You, uh, you really can't blame her. She gets pretty riled up about it. Of course. We were going to drop in on some of the other boys, Johnny, but when Miss Sanford heard about you, she particularly wanted to visit here. You did? Why? Oh, my name is Bard. She's Sanford. Oh. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, Liz didn't want to come at all. Did you, Liz? No. Why not? Well, I... I think it's rather an imposition. I mean, it's rather embarrassing to have us come in this way. I'm very sorry. Ah, don't be. I'm glad you came. When you've been where I've been, you can never get enough company. Thanks. Uh, Matilda, what is your homework? What? Oh, um, we've got to pick out some famous character fiction and uh, write an essay on uh, something they said. Oh? Have you decided on anybody? Why, uh, no. We can't think of a good one. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tough. I know. What about in Tale of Two Cities, where Sidney Carton was in jail and... Uh, no, that's no good. There's that speech I always like in Cyrano de Bergerac, when Cyrano is telling Roxanne the meaning of a kiss. Yeah, what's that? The kiss, he said. I do not see why your lips do not dare one. It is the divine secret which one mouth tells the other while neither needs to listen. It is the pilgrimage of the heart across the lips to the soul. Cyrano, huh? Well, I'll go for that. What do I read about the guy? I, I guess the girl said yes, huh? No. No, he was making love for Christian, his best friend. He sent Christian to receive the kiss. Why? What was his angle? Well, you see, he was afraid. He was very ugly. Oh. What's wrong? You're not going to read it? No. Ugly or not, I'm not interested in a guy that doesn't go through with what he starts. Well, come on, girls. We've got to be running along. Goodbye, Mrs. Fowler. Thanks for the coffee. You're growing to be a fine young girl, Matilda. Oh, thanks, Mr. Vern. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Mr. Eager. Bye. Thank you. It's been very pleasant. Yeah. Sorry about your man, uh, Cyrano. Well, I'd never thought of it quite that way. Perhaps you're right. Bye. Goodbye. Can they call this a free country? Busting into your house like that. Just see the face on that blonde rat when she smelt my coffee? Huh? Uncle Johnny. Uh. That Miss Bard. Anytime you want to whistle, she'll come running. Forget that. Anytime you want to whistle. I watched her eyes. You watched them too, you know it. Here, go cut yourself a rug someplace. Thank you, Uncle Johnny. But any time you want a whistle. I told Winnie we'd drop by. She's having a crowd. Mm. 
Isn't that eager individual the handsomest thing you ever saw? I don't think handsome is just the word. His face is well cut, but once for a moment there, it became hard. I think he'd beat a woman if she made him angry. I wonder. What? Ooh, what sort of a woman he goes around with. Hey, chum. There's a limit to this sociology business, you know. 